Quick, like and subscribe for insane luck in every game. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video I want to be showing you guys how to open up this door in the final area So I figured this out on stream yesterday when the game first came out and I'm extremely sorry that I forgot to finish this video until this morning so the game's already been out for like 20 hours my bad but here's the video anybody that hasn't ran through the game yet and they're gonna need to know how to open this door you have to follow every single step that i'm about to show you so yeah i'm gonna roll the footage from the stream i'm not gonna be explaining every single step i'm just going to be showing from the stream but you have to read all of the notes and go through all the steps or it literally won't give you the key so yeah here's all the steps enjoy the video also comment down below any other videos you guys want to see on this game i already got quite a few ideas but i want to know what you guys want to see but yeah like i said roll the footage what why is everything spawning all of a sudden wait wizards riddle went something like this locked forever a uh, hidden key shall set you free clues hidden all across the land your first awaits you under a cross in sand you probably go to the world. sand world I mean, let me buy a magma basin okay so it's either dusty dunes or sunset shores sunset shores has the x someone says sunset shores has the okay where's all the right. x oh way over here read clue in an autumn forest furnace burns bright on a pile of logs what? Autumn forest on a pile of logs just out of plain sight. Furnace burns oh, bright. Oh, autumn forest. Just, just go, to, go to the autumn forest then. Says it's shiny on a, in the autumn world too. Says it's on a pile of logs next to a burnt a furnace. Okay, I'm in the Auburn area. Oh, this? Where champions stand tall, find me at the fountain's waterfall. Dude. Maybe the spawn leaderboard? Here, you check the spawn leaderboard. I'm going to go check the purple waterfall. Alright. That's in the gloomy area. I don't see anything here. Where champions stand tall? Where champions stand tall. It oh, must... it is. It is the spawn world. Oh, it's the spawn world. Do you get the next clue? Um, yeah, it's where, where the air is crisp, the land is serene, a clue lay at top, the roof colored green. Oh my air goodness. Is, this... Air is crisp. It's going to make us go to... Yeah, it's the cold world. It's frosty peaks. And then the, the green roof. The green, green roof. Oh, right here where the bra guy is at. Oh yeah, I see the note up there. Oh, you might have to go to the other one. You're gonna have to go back to the spawn world. Oh, I gotta go to the waterfall first before I yeah. get the clue. Yep. Uh, all right. And then you go back to. Okay, where? <clears throat> on top of the right there. Yeah, on the fountain. The face of the fountain. Uh, the little doggy. Read clue where the air is crisp. I like this game a lot, to be honest. I'm trying to find where the next one is, though. I'm confused. <clears throat> yeah, these these clues are kind of cool. So you have to go from one note to the other. You can't skip anything. On on desert island. Okay. Oh, well. I found it. That one's pretty obvious. We gotta go it's to Dusty Dunes. I'm gonna show you where it is. Purple water under the cave. Where are you? Look back here. Uh, by the water. By the water. I'm in Dusty Dunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the water. Oh. You go inside there. Inside the pyramid. Read clue. The land of purple water, trees of fungi, the end of the cave, crystal meets the sky. Sorry, we're Okay, inside. so obviously over here, the purple waterfall. Happy Bear Cruise Skate Park. Oh, oh, I, know where that I is. forgot that the purple stuff is poison. <laughs> All right. And then there's another clue back here on the meadows by the Cappy Bear. Oh, the skating dudes. Yep. The kickflip. Do a flip. Ground is hot. Cast the sands tall. Find the spire and find the key once for all. Cool. Gosh. We got to go to everywhere in the whole map. Okay. <laughs> where are the kickflip dudes? There's another note. Ground's hot and whatever. Where, where are you going for this one? Uh, atop a spire, it says. Um, so I went to the, the last Actually, hold on. World. Let me catch this legendary that just spawned right in front of me. Okay, so where, where'd where you go after the skating guys? Uh, go to the, the, like the last world. Magma Basin? Yeah, and then yeah. when you go, it's like the left of the entrance of the cave. Or not the cave, the, yeah, you see, you see it right there. <laughs> I just fell right <laughs> in between the rocks. 40 billion? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about 40 billion oh here's the key okay so that's it let me go back and open this thing what are you talking about 40 billion let me see all right we got in i'm pulling your leg after all these years stuck here thanks i'm free um not a secret good deals Shh. go to go to the um let me press the button the real quick that's a long ladder 
All right, so now that I showed you guys how to do probably the hardest secret to open something up in the game, I want to show you all of the smaller secrets because there's a bunch of free stuff that you can claim every single day in this game. A lot of the stuff you can claim every single hour and it's super overpowered. So let me just show you all of the free stuff in the game if you care to know. If you only cared about opening up the final gate, then you already have that information, but there's a bunch of other stuff that you want to know as well. So first things first, there's a red button right here in spawn. If you hit this, it'll open up this ladder. And then if you go up this ladder, there's a little chest. That's like the first little secret thing that you get in the beginning of the game. The chest will help you out, give you some free stuff. Also on this board, before you're about to go into the second area, it shows all the upcoming events events. So if you want to check some upcoming events, see if there's a really good event that you've been waiting on, you can always check right here in the spawn. Also, in every single world, there are free upgrades, and the really good upgrades are in the beginning of the game, like extra pet equip, extra coin multiplier. And then over here in the second area, these are free shrines where you get some rare cubes and some wild berries. Then in the third area, these are really good upgrades as well, damage multiplier and extra health. This is where you can first start crafting stuff and then you can just craft straight from your inventory if you press c you don't actually need to use the machine and then here's a shop where you can just buy some stuff here's the first of two boss fights in the game where you can get tons of loot and you can do these boss fights every 45 minutes. I've mainly been doing the Kraken one because that one's harder and it gives a little bit better loot, but you can do either or. And then once you get into the snow area, go up this hill and then there's a red button right here, which opens up this ladder right over here next to this house. And then there's just a little bit of a free chest up here, I'm pretty sure that I already claimed in the beginning of the game. And then down at the bottom of the snow area, here's where you unlock auto delete and a bunch more really good upgrades these you kind of have to get extra mob drops coin multiplier pet equip and health and also this is the bruh quest guy he gives a lot of good stuff and he has an unlimited quest line and then once you get into this area this is where some more really good upgrades are and the kraken boss fight and there's also free shrines to get free elite eggs and free gems you can also buy stuff with your gems here and exchange your fish here and you can also get way better fishing rods from the old sailor you just have to do a bunch of his quest and then heading into the next area here's where the upgrades start getting not really that good and they're not all that needed but if you want extra pet storage and pet teams you can get that and then here are the golden ticket shrine Th this is the best shrine other than the ones in the final area so the golden tickets obviously you play the dig site mini game this is where you can get really good stuff like boss respawn totems golden cherries that can turn your pet shiny and then you can also get pets out of here and prismatic eggs and these prismatic eggs are like 5% chance to hatch a secret pet it's legendaries and above guaranteed so yeah collect your free golden tickets it gives you two of them and you can only have seven maximum and then going on to the next world not the best upgrades once again extra pet teams extra pet storage and health you mainly need the health for boss fights and then I wanted to show you guys my AFK method real quick if you guys just wanted to know, you know, a, a bunch of little secrets that I've collected since I started playing. If you stand right under this purple mushroom right here, you're able to hit all of the slimes right as they spawn in. You just have to be right under this mushroom on this side of it. And as soon as all the slimes spawn in, way over there, way over here, I can hit them all. So this is my AFK method for just killing enemies. And the the reason I don't use the final area is because you can't actually stand in a good spot in the final area. All the guys will start spawning way off to the side. But yeah, if you just stand like right here, barely touching the road, you can hit the slimes way over here and way over here. Then here's the dance champion. These also cost golden tickets like the dig site, but the dance champion is a little bit annoying to do a bunch of times in a row. I like to just do the dig site. And then here is, well, sort of the final area. Let me just jump across. So here's the spire that you unlock to get the key, but over here are the really good shrines. If you press this button, that's how you open the first gate. And then once you get to the second gate in here, that's when you need the key that I showed you guys from the beginning of the video. But yeah, you gotta press this button, open the first gate, then find the key for the second gate. 
and these are lifesteal charms that you can put on your pets. So as you can see, I gain 15% health every time this pet deals damage. And then these are the golden cherries that you can use to turn your pet into shiny. And it actually worked on one of my pets. I turned my magma cube into a shiny yesterday. And I also hatched a Cerberus, which is a higher tier legendary. And I would turn this into a shiny, but I'm actually going to just save my golden cherries until trading comes out and I could use it on a secret pet or something way better okay so now that you guys know how to open up both of these gates you know where all the secret stuff is in the beginning of the game let me show you the very end of the game so this not a secret thing you go down there press the button and climb up to here and then up there is the black market so if you guys were wondering how to unlock every single area over here is the final area that i'm currently in where you just catch pets and get the final upgrades oh yeah speaking of the final upgrades i'm saying saving up for this one. This is the only luck upgrade that you can get without paying Robux. So that's why it's 40 billion. And then you can also get an extra egg hatch for diamonds here. But back to what I was saying, you have to go down there, press that button and climb all the way up to the black market. And that's actually where you unlock this area to the right. You just have to make sure to buy the beacon up here if you wanna be able to teleport to it and teleport away. So just buy all the beacons and then you can teleport to all the areas. But yeah, this is the black market where you can get some pretty good items. And yeah, those are pretty much all the secrets in the game that I really know about other than like the super secret pet. But if you look in the index, it actually shows all these secret pets in the index. But they talked about there being super secret pets in this game that don't show in the index. So these are just all the regular secrets. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help some of you guys out. There's a l not really that many super secret things in the game, so I think I've kind of discovered all of them. If you guys know of anything that I didn't talk about, comment it down below, and then we'll talk about it in an upcoming video, and I'll also heart the comments so that everybody on this video can see ahead of time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Like I said, comment some ideas for more future videos down below on this new game, and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.